Hello everyone. This week we will explore similarities and differences between opiates, opioids, narcotics, heroin, fentanyl, and carfentanil. We will learn about effects of opioid substances and how they are administered. We will also talk about the neonatal withdrawal syndrome and learn the key terms related to opioids. What are opioids? Opioids are substances that interact with naturally occurring opioid receptors in the human body and are either derived from opium or manufactured synthetically. Opiates are a subset of opioids derived from opium. Substances such as heroin, morphine, and codeine are produced from the seeds or what is extracted as a resin from the opium poppy. Oxycodone and hydrocodone are semi-synthetic opioid drugs. Purely synthetic opioid examples include methadone, tramadol, fentanyl, and carfentanil. Opioids are manufactured both by licensed pharmaceutical companies in the US and other countries, as well as illegally produced and distributed by uncontrolled clandestine laboratories around the world. Narcotics is another word you may have encountered that they can induce a state of narcosis, a state of stupor or unconsciousness. The word narcotic is not commonly used by health or mental health professionals. This term is heavily associated with the legal system and illegal drug trafficking. The medical use of opioids is to provide pain relief. Prescription drugs like oxycodone, hydrocodone, codeine, morphine, and fentanyl are used to manage pain in humans and in animals by swallowing or crushing and injecting or snorting. DSM-5 includes 11 criteria for opioid use disorder, such as using in larger amounts or over a longer period, having a desire to reduce the use but not being really able to cut down the use, spending much time getting, using and recovering from the use, failing to fulfill major life roles. If two or more of these symptoms are present in a 12 months period, the diagnosis of the opioid use disorder is made. The severity of the diagnosis depends on how many symptoms were present. The disorder is said to be mild when 2 to 3 symptoms are present, moderate, when 4 to 5 symptoms are present, and severe when 6 or more symptoms are present. Opioid medications are used medically for their ability to control pain. This is known as analgesic effect. They also help reducing coughing and diarrhea. Opioid also help with relaxation, reduce anxiety and aggression. Opioids also cause drowsiness, difficulty concentrating, apathy, lack of motivation, slowed physical activity, slow reactions, constricted pupils, constipation, nausea and vomiting, and slowed breathing. The risk of a dangerous or fatal overdose is tied to the amount and strength of a substance used and to develop tolerance. Fentanyl which is 50 times stronger than the average potency of heroin, contributes to a significant surge in overdose events and deaths. Carfentanil, which is developed for use with large animals, such as elephants, has 100 times the potency of fentanyl and 5,000 times the potency of heroin. The symptoms of overdose include drowsiness, disorientation, dry mouth and coma. Opioid overdose might be reversed, by administering naloxone. As an opioid antagonist, naloxone binds to opioid receptors in the body, and blocks the opioid's effects. The amount of opioid reversal drug needed, depends on the dose and strength of the opioid involved in the overdose event. Treating opioid use disorder, OUD, often involves prescribed medications, as part of an evidence-based intervention plan called Medication-Assisted Treatment, MAT. Three medications have been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for this purpose. They are methadone, which itself is a synthetic opioid, buprenorphine, which is an opioid partial agonist, and naltrexone, which is an opioid antagonist. Neonatal abstinence syndrome is a term that was often used previously for neonatal withdrawal syndrome. The currently preferred term is neonatal withdrawal syndrome. Neonatal withdrawal syndrome is a cluster of symptoms, frequently observed in newborn infants who have been prenatally exposed to opioids. It is triggered by separation from the source of these substances via the placenta, and it causes the infant to experience substance withdrawal. Withdrawal symptoms may appear up to five days following birth. Babies can difficulty with breathing, meconium aspiration complications, feeding, sepsis, stomach infection, gastrointestinal symptoms, diarrhea leading to dehydration, moderating autonomic nervous system functions, for example, managing body temperature, sweating, poor sleep, irritability, fussiness, jitteriness, seizures, and even death. Treatment for prenatal opioid exposure typically involves medically managed, stepwise withdrawal protocols with the use of opioid medications. In such cases, Morphine, methadone, or buprenorphine can be used to gradually wean the infant from all substances. In addition, babies can benefit from skin-to-skin -skin contact with mother or caregiver, low-stimulation environment, 
reduced auto-stimulation, timely response to water and nutrition needs, and rocking.